myself Shashwati Bormun. I will be explaining you the Frank Hutch experiment. So the purpose of this experiment is to uh, demonstrate the concept of quantization of energy level according to Bohr's model of atom. So here you can see the Frank Hertz tube in which you have uh, a low, low pressure neon gas and there is a control unit for power supply and a DC current amplifier. James Frank and Gustav Hertz they conducted this experiment is in 1949 uh, which demonstrated the existence of excited states in mercury atom. It confirms the prediction of quantum theory that electrons occupy only discrete and quantized energy state. This experiment supports Bohr model of atom and for this great invention they have been awarded Nobel Prize in Physics in the year 1925. The apparatus here consists of a tube containing this low pressure gas and it has it is fitted with three electrodes cathode maze grid and uh, anode the cathode is for electron emission the maze grid is for the acceleration of electrons and uh, the anode this is a collecting plate so here there is a filament filament with the help of thermionic emission Electrons are emitted by the heat, heated cathode and then they are accelerated towards the grid which is at a positive potential relative to the cathode. The collecting plate is at lower potential with respect to the maze grid. If the electrons have sufficient energy on reaching the grid, they will some of them will pass through the grid and reach the collecting plate and it will be measured as the current uh, by the ammeter the electrons which do not have sufficient energy on reaching the grid they will be slowed down and they will be falling back onto the grid the experimental results confirm the existence of discrete energy levels so there are two collisions uh, two types of collisions occur here elastic collision and inelastic collision the when uh, there is elect elastic collision between the electron excited electron accelerated electron and the uh, neon gas atom the electrons will not lose energy on colliding with the gas molecules and as the acceleration accelerating potential increases the current will increase but as the accelerating potential decreases as the accelerating potential actually reaches a particular value each electron then they will have the inelastic collision and they will lose their energy and uh, there will be this number of electrons to reach here to the um, collecting plate and the and the current here will decrease as a result the energy level of electron bound to the atom is raised and now the electron almost loses energy and the current uh, drops here so this is the data for the mercury. Here you can see that this is the accelerating voltage along the x-axis and along the y-axis the collected current and the collected current it increases with the accelerating voltage and then it decreases and it increases and decreases and so on. Similar is the uh, Frankfurt's data for uh, neon. It increases and decreases and uh, so on. So if you take the difference between these Peaks, this peak and this peak, you calculate that again. Calculate the difference between these two peaks, take the average of them, you get the excitation potential. So, let us directly go to the experiment. In the experiment, you have here you will fix the filament voltage at 8 volt. And you will gradually increase the grid voltage at an interval of 0.2 volts. So you can see that the current is increasing here. Your PC mode is as you make it off, you will not be able to change it. So make the PC mode on and choose the gas as neon 
and fix the filament voltage at 8 volt and grid voltage is start from 0 volt so as you increase the <coughs> grid voltage you can see that electrons are accelerated and as you gradually increase it the anode current will increase keep on increasing that you can see the current is increasing and current 9.6 milliampere here and then you then you can see that as you increase the current is again decreasing and you increase it again which is increasing and it will decrease and so on so it will increase and decrease increase and decrease actually you will get uh, four dips and four peaks you will calculate the difference between consecutive peaks and take the average you can also calculate the difference in consecutive peaks uh, in terms of voltage and then you can take the average and that will give you the excitation potential of neon gas for neon gas the excitation potential is 19 electron volt so this is all about the experiment thank you